But the critical thing is how I, you interpret the event. If you don't interpret the event in a particular way, uh, then you're willy-nilly. Uh, there's no relationship between you and the external environment. And so nature has provided us with these frontal lobes, and particularly the prefrontal lobe. And these lobes enable us, and it's also a lower level uh, regions, such as the thalamus and uh, the hippocampus and um, the amygdala that help in this. So nature has provided us with a whole apparatus for interpreting our environment. And it's also given us olfactory lobes and, and eyes and so on to in order so that we're going to be able to, first of all, survive in our environment, and secondly, to be able to make the most of, uh, ways of, of fulfilling our basic needs through the environment. So what we have to do is we have to cognize, we have to be able to perceive and then put together what is going on in the environment. And many times, we just do that and there's no emotion. We just, uh, if, we're, if we're an animal looking for food, we, 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 we see something, we see an herb or something and we, we take it. There doesn't have to be any emotion connected with that. But one has to be able to recognize that this is an herb and that it is not poisonous. And that's why the cognitive apparatus is absolutely critical for survival. Now the emotions, play a role, and um, however, the emotions are fairly slow in, in some way. And so, um, if a, uh, a leopard suddenly jumped into the room right here, we would suddenly get a startle reaction, and then we would feel the emotion. Now, we get the style reaction as a result of perceiving that there is a danger. We have to first perceive the danger. Otherwise, uh, if we don't perceive the danger right away, we're not going to react soon enough. And the emotion that we feel, the anxiety, is to make sure that we react and that we then mobilize ourselves uh, properly. So to me, logically, uh, this is my opinion, which you asked. To me, it's totally illogical to think that there is a connection between an environmental event and an emotion without first perceiving and conceptualizing what the environmental event is. And you may quote me on this. <laughs> 